Okay, this is episode four of season one of The Last Door. So we'll skip the intro. Interact with the protagonist. Interact with the table. Interact with the protagonist again. And we'll skip the intro. Apologies for me being snotty today. I think I'm uh, coming down with a cold, so I do apologise. So we can rapidly press A to hopefully speed this up. And you will then have a small scene on the train. We need to basically just exhaust all of the dialogue. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, after this tiny little scene, we will be on a dark path and uh, the episode will properly start. We're going to go all the way to the left and we'll be in a yard. There we go. The greenhouse will be barred here on the right, so open it up and then go inside. At this point, I recommend that you have closed captions on. To do that, press Start, then Options, and then make sure Closed ca Captions is enabled in this menu. We are going to be waiting until the sound of glass shattering happens. This may take a minute or two. Okay, as you heard, glass shattered just there. So once that happens, leave, go over to the house, knock on the door, and whoops, and we're going to go through the door. What's going to then happen is we are 
we are in the lobby right now. We're going to go up into the parlour. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go through this door over here on the left, which is closed, and you'll find out that we are actually going into the kitchen. Pick up the glowing lamp. There we go. And then we are going to go to the left, and you will see a note here. This is the first note of episode 4. Once it's been read, uh, flip the paper again. Just read it just to double check. Okay, we are now going to go all the way back to the right. And we're going to go out of the door through to the garden. We are going to go over to the well. We're going to take the rope. Whoops. And then we're going to go to the gate. And that allows us to get back to the yard should we require to. So go back into the backyard and then back inside. And then we're going to go all the way back to the left. Back through this doorway here, which brings us back to the parlour. And then we're going to go back to the uh, lobby. And then next we are going to go upstairs. We're going to go through these double doors. We are going to examine this note here. You can read it twice just to make sure that it counts. And then we're going to talk to uh, Alexandra. So once you've spoken to him, we are going to go back into the hallway. We are going to go to the right. Interact with the big chest, because everybody loves big chests. And we're going to get the large iron hook that is inside. And we get to read the diary as well. Make sure you get it. Right, now combine the rope with the hook. Gives us a grapple hook. Because it wouldn't be a point and click adventure without a grapple hook. We're going to go to the right. Through the open passage. Which brings us to the dark room. We want to read the uh, entry here. Then we want to take the cyanide. Literally take it, just don't shove it down your gob. Um, and then we want to... Uh, Examine the ha hanging lantern, and we want to get the light bulb. Yoink! Examine the floor as well. Okay, so once we've done that, so we're going to exit the room. And then we're going to go right. 
and you'll find that we are now in a study. Check the fireplace. We'll get an envelope. Okay, so on the desk there are two notes. Read both of them. Once you've done that, we are going to go all the way back to the front yard and then go into the greenhouse. all the way into the greenhouse you have to look for the stupid button because it tells you to look at the greenhouse if you didn't get the right place now we do have the lamp we can go all the way to the right beware of the weeping angels by the way they are lightning quick faster than you can believe don't turn around and don't blink Good luck. Okay, so now we have the vitriol. Uh, we were supposed to have the vitriol, it just seems to have disappeared. Let's try again. All right, pick up the bloody vitriol. Thank you. Stupid game. Okay, so now we have the vitriol. We now want to go up the path where we originally came from. It is now night time. We will find a body of a deer. Oh dear. We are going to use the light bulb on the corpse, which should... Uh, Turn the bulb red. We are then going to go back to the yard and then we're going to take the gate which we opened earlier to uh, get to the backyard as a shortcut. We are then going to go to the well. And we're going to use the uh, hook or the grapple hook on the well, which should uh, give us a bird. There you go, we have a bird. We then want to return to the dark room. So you can go in through this way. I've probably taken a longer route, but never mind. So uh, we want to go back upstairs. Luckily we can speed through that bit. And we're going to go all the way to the right into the dark room. I think this was the dark room. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, we want to turn the room red. So uh, we want to put the red light bulb onto the room there you go and once we've done that we need to put the envelope in the sink right here and then we want to put the vitriol on top of it 
and then we want to put cyanide on top of it. So we now want to uh, turn the tap on. There we go. We have an image. There we go. And that will pop you the alchemist achievement for 15G. And probably a bronze trophy on PlayStation. Cue the jump scare. Bulb explodes. Okay. We now have the... Um, the picture. Develop picture. That's what I was looking for. Go through the double doors. And use the picture on the dude in the wheelchair. Once you've done that, use the bird on the cuckoo clock. You'll notice that there is a clock hand on the floor after you showed him the picture. Use the clock hand on the... Uh, use the... Sorry, my mistake. Uh, we need to come out of this. Um, we need to go downstairs. Once we've got the clock hand. And we want to use the clock hand on this grandfather clock next to the stairs. We want to set the clock to uh, 3 o'clock. So you can click on and just hold the A button until it's in the right place. Whoops. There we go. And then use the lever. Sounds come from upstairs. So we go upstairs. We're going to go back into Alexander's room. We're going to grab the bird. And we're going to grab the key. Uh, you have to click the bird in your inventory to get the key. So uh, we are now going to go down into the garden. Quicker route is through the front door and then through the gate that we opened earlier. Use the key on the cellar down here. Head down. Right, there should be some furniture here. Again, watch out for the weeping angels. I've got to say, the music in this this area is brilliant. Right, so, uh, okay. So, once we've examined everything, you might not need to do that. Aha. So once we've got the shovel, yeah, we need to uh, interact with this chest of draw things here to get the gardener's shovel. It may not appear on your first interaction with it, so interact with it multiple times. We're going to go back to the garden now. And this time we're going to use the shovel to dig up the grave, because why wouldn't you? Examine it, and you'll see we have a wooden box.
use the vitriol on the rusted lock. Take the rolled up canvas from the skeleton. And don't forget to read the notes here. There you go. Okay, we can back out from this section. We now wish need to go to Alexander's room. So double click on the gate, the door, upstairs, double doors. A note is now in Alexandra's chair. Make sure to read it. As I said, read the notes. Okay. Now we need to literally just stand in this room and wait uh, for a raven to show up. And we are waiting here for the Master of the Occult uh, achievements, which is involved for finding all of the secrets in Season 1. And uh, this is our next secret, as I said. We just need to wait for the Raven to appear. Whilst we wait, I would like to take the opportunity to advertise my Twitter. Um, if you like what I do, I commonly give uh, games away for free on my Twitter, which you can play uh, before release dates. So please uh, give me a follow at twitter.com forward slash dwagginite. That's twitter.com forward slash D for Delta, W for Whiskey. A for Alpha, G for Golf, G for Golf, I for Indigo, E for Echo, N for November, I for Indigo, T for Tango, E for Echo. Thank you. Never more. And there you are, you just saw the raven appear and say nevermore, quote the raven nevermore. And that unlocked the Master of the Occult achievements. So that's all secrets in Season 1 found. If you would have followed these four videos fully, you would have gotten them. Okay, so you will have need to go out onto the balcony, examine the statue, take the lens from the... Uh, Weeping Angel statue. We now need to return to the cellar. So, uh, back to the double doors. Downstairs. Front yard. 
Backyard. Cellar. We are then going to... Ignore that human mumble and go to the left. We'll be going into the workshop, which is just here, and you'll see a note on the table. So read it a couple of times if you wish, just to make sure it detects it. Uh, you see a passage here, so we're going to go through the passage. There is a note on the floor somewhere here. Uh, here it is. So examine this. This is the eighth note of episode four of season one. We are then going to interact with the desk. You have to interact with it twice. And you'll get the achievements, uh, Great God Athlete for 30G. Okay, so what we now need to do is set the symbols um, as follows. So you want this kind of equals sign with a line to it on the top left one. You want this kind of U-shaped thing on the top right one. And then you want this kind of uh, chandelier kind of shape the three lines with a horizontal line through them. Take the syringe. Right. Then we want to uh, leave the cave. Remember what I said about the weeping angels? They are lightning quick. Don't blink. Don't turn your back. Good luck. 15 gamer score. Go back into the uh, cave and climb down the hole. Give Alexandre the schlinge. Sit down in the chair. Give him the shringe again. Oops. Ow. We'll have this cutscene. And now we just need to move to the right. And this should end series one or season one and give you an achievement called The Veil.
There you go. Oh, I made a mistake. ATG there. And the achievement, as I said, the veil. 15G as well. So, uh, we will be going into uh, Season 2 in the next episode. 